Here we have the new 50 Fathoms Bathys Gap from Blanc Pan, which they just unveiled this year at Basel World 2013 to celebrate 60 years of the 50 Fathoms family. The 50 Fathoms, when it was first unveiled in 1953, featured a number of innovations that we now take for granted in dive watches. Things like unidirectional bezels, dive markings on bezels, anti-magnetic protection. Later on in the late 1950s, Blancpain added the Bathys Gap to the 50 Fathoms family, which was inspired by Swiss oceanographer Jacques Picard. You'll see in the details little homages to these original dive watches. Things like the circular dive markers with the metallic surrounds and the luminous material filling them in. The broader, rectangular shaped hour and minutes hands for readability underwater. And a fully graduated bezel. I took the Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms Bathys Scaff to the Côte d'Azur where French divers were originally using these watches 60 years ago. When I first put it on, it did feel a little large, a little heavy. I was afraid that the bulk was gonna be a problem with this watch, but after wearing it for a day or two, it really sits nicely on the wrist, and the NATO strap, as it breaks in and softens up, makes it extremely comfortable to wear. This isn't the sort of NATO you can pick up somewhere for 15, 20, 25 dollars. The hardware is really heavy duty. It's really about as good as a NATO strap can be. The open dial has small circular hour markers, which are gold surrounds with luminous material in the center to make them readable underwater. They look really nice, but they are on the small side, which does make them a little difficult to read at night, and I would guess underwater as well. The rectangular hands are also a nice vintage touch, but because the difference in length between the two hands isn't huge, it can be difficult to read them when they're close together. As you'd expect, the bezel is unidirectional and uses a combination of liquid metal and ceramic to get a really glossy, clean effect that isn't going to scratch. It's also extremely loud and a little bit difficult to turn at first, though I think that'll probably loosen up a bit over time. Unlike most really tool-oriented dive watches, this does have an open case back. If you take the NATO strap off, you can get a really clear look at the Caliber 1315 movement, which, although the finishing is really spartan, it is clean and really nicely executed. Overall, the new Bathys Gap brings something different to the current 50 Fathoms lineup, something more like what we would have seen 50 or 60 years ago, even though it has all of the modern touches that you would expect from Blancpain.